A brute force attack is a method of hacking that attempts several logins on your website using different username and password combinations. Brute force attacks are one of the most common types of attacks a hacker uses because it's simple and effective. Once a brute force attack is successful, hackers will infiltrate and exploit the website, causing significant damage and financial loss. In this video, we'll go into more detail about brute force attacks and provide tips to protect your website from future attacks. So, how does a brute force attack actually work? The most basic brute force attack is called a dictionary attack, where the hacker works through a dictionary of likely passwords and tries them all in rapid fashion using a custom program. Dictionary attacks start with some assumptions about common passwords to try to guess them from the list in the dictionary. Depending on the severity of the attack, hundreds of combinations can be attempted in a matter of minutes. Worst of all, a majority of website owners never know that they're being attacked because it happens behind the scenes, and typically late at night or early in the morning, where hackers can purchase cheaper resources to launch the attacks from. The attacks can happen from anywhere in the world, and even reputable IP addresses are sometimes hijacked and used as proxies. There are other brute force attacks that are less common but more sophisticated, like an exhaustive key search where computers with large processors attempt every possible combination of every possible character to break in. No matter what method is used, your website must be prepared. So, how do you keep your website safe? The first thing you need to do is change your password. We recommend changing your password to a minimum of 10 characters, including uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. In WordPress, you can use their built-in password generator that will do this for you. Next, install a plugin or security app, such as Limit Login Attempts Reloaded, that prevents excessive login attempts by an IP address or user. In this case, the hacker is only able to make a few login attempts, and it will be virtually impossible to break through. It's recommended to limit logins instead of simply blocking them because legitimate users are often responsible for some failed login attempts. Lastly, be sure to auto-update your apps and plugins, especially if you're using WordPress. Outdated plugins create loopholes for hackers and could weaken your defense against some brute force attacks. We hope you found this information helpful. Please visit LimitLoginAttempts.com for more insight and tips on protecting your website from brute force attacks. Thanks for watching and stay safe.